Okay, so we are back at the farmhouse today working on finishing up this fireplace and the candelabras and maybe a little bit of shiplap. Maybe. Harrington and I have also been working outside. We've got the underlayment up on the floor on the second story, so we're ready to put up walls. So while we can't live there, we could have a roof party. For sure. Big roof party. All right, tell them what you did to this. All right, so we removed the clay pipe around the outside, and then I just pushed this flush because it was poking out because there was no way we could chisel it off. And I didn't want to pull it out because then everything might crumble. And then I took some spray foam and I filled in all the gaps. Spray foam is not technically structural, but once it hardens and cures, it's pretty rigid and can fill lots of gaps and things in your house. So we've been debating if these are too fancy for our house because all the other lighting doesn't look like this, but I think making it white, it'll help it blend in. And I'll tighten those up in a little bit once we're done. I also think the detail's gonna pop and then I'll come back and like wet distress this to bring some of it back. And I'm also gonna have Zeb, so I wanted the mantle up a little higher. So Zeb's gonna take his little cutter and zip, zip. She wants me to cut this detail off. Yeah. She's like, I don't know what that's there for. Let's remove it. It looks a little gothic to me. <laughs> Zeb probably loves it, but then we can bring that mantle up a little bit higher. And I'm not gonna worry about full coverage because I'm gonna come back and wet distress it. All right, you might wanna watch your eyes. Do we want it to Isn't like... Isn't that about where we had it before? Well, I mean, we can raise it. No, we can go up one because we got rid of those things. Okay, so That's just That's a good mantle below. height. Yeah, since we got rid of those little nubbins, okay. we can do that. So what I've done here is I just took a 3 8 drill bit and drilled all the way down to about that deep. And now I'm going to drill these into the side and that's going to hold these corbels up and the shelf. Got some 3 8 wood plugs. Most hardware stores sell these, usually over by the lumber section. And then we'll paint over them and you won't hardly know there was a hole there. Add a little bit of spray foam down underneath here and we're just filling in a crack. It was about an inch wide and it goes straight down to the basement. If you drop something down there, go look for it in the basement. You might find it down there. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. And then when we paint the floors, it'll just blend right on over there. Yeah, well, we'll get the, I mean, the floors go to like right here. So this is just a little bit of, that work there we go smooth that out there's like a little bit of foam poking out watch out for that stray foam <laughs> <laughs> that's okay when that hardens like that foam won't be okay. it, it won't pooch up like that anymore are you sure yeah all right so jamie's filming while zeb is staring so i have my spacer over here so that we can fit shiplap up the side of the stairs so I'm gonna leave a gap for that. And then just some construction adhesive. Maybe it'll come out. It's feeling very tired and sad. I feel like it's tired like you. Could be. The nice thing about working late is the weather is delicious. I'm gonna have to stop working in the middle of the day because it wipes me out from the heat and work right now. Like I could work all day right now. <laughs> okay, so stair tread on. I'm gonna put a couple screws in here. I'm countersinking these because we're gonna just paint them. So countersink, plug, and then we'll paint. I was actually thinking about doing like a fun runner, like a painted runner. What Zeb didn't show you is he had to go back and cut it down a little bit, didn't you? Yeah, because it's 11 and a half inches deep and I needed it to be like 11, right on 11 inches, so. Because once I put the uh, three quarter inch rise cover over here, 
then that's going to take away and we won't have such a huge gap but you want to have about an inch to an inch and a half lip on the edge of the stairs so good job just doing what the code says let me check it out let me see will my foot fit on the stair oh your whole foot will fit on the stair perfect will your foot fit no, on the but stair mine doesn't fit on any stairs unless they're like huge stairs going up to like the state capitol or something it's because you got giant feet <laughs> taking off some of this paint to bring back the detail on the piece and to add some more contrast. I never really wanted them to be like solid white and to smooth out my janky paint job. I needed, sorry that seems in the wrong spot, I needed my little Frenchie but I found it. You could also use a damp lint free rag but the sponge happened to be handy. We wanted the mantle to be a little bit thicker, so I'm just trimming it out with some more old wood here. Got the angles cut at a 45, so it hides the raw edge. And we are going to sand these a little bit. We don't want them to be this rustic. All right, the plaster is starting to dry and Jamie is whitewashing this with beadboard. What's your mixture on that? This is more like three parts uh, water to one part paint because it wasn't wide enough before. So I'm, I'm going a little bit wider and then I'm probably gonna come back with a sponge and like pull it back a little bit, but I'm gonna start more white. I can always pull it off because it's water soluble. So you just play with it till you like it. It's for every time. I've you feel my mess up, I need a hammer. <laughs> we have decided that we are only gonna ship lap to the top of the line over there because all those angled pieces would be a nightmare and I wanted to break it up a little bit. So we're gonna board and batten above the ship lap. So from like the top of the beam to the ceiling, we'll be board and batten all the way across. As soon as I, I get that covered up. And we have to use, the truth is we have to use this anyway. So Zeb's just gonna sand this super smooth We'll just throw some vertical boards up there, call it good. Yep, that's part of the structural plans to have that up there for sheer strength.
real pine shiplap is way prettier than MDF because it looks authentic. Part of being authentic is it's warped. So <laughs> it does not come straight, just like the trees don't here, grow straight. Move your hand off of that. Show them how much it flexes. Like it's like we already pushed down this side. All this has to be primed with a shellac-based primer to keep the knots from coming through our paint. Whereas if you use like an MDF, you don't have to worry about that. Authentic right. crusty coming up. All right, hang on. Now I get a lift. Yeah, this this we have to push down. That has to be lifted. A little nip, a little tuck. Come on. It's like giving birth. <laughs> you gotta leave me a half an inch so that I can fit the ship lap underneath that edge. Those lights are so bright, you can't even tell what they are. They're amazing. <laughs> it's another late night at the farmhouse, almost midnight. Gotta go grab some teenagers from a party. We got a few things left to finish up. The shiplap has a couple holes in it and we ran out of primer, so we gotta go get more of that, but the store's closed. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends. If you want the paint and products that we use, go to jamierayvintage.com. And for home decor, go to jamierayvintagehome.com. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and farmhouse.